Many new informations are overwhelming us and we are getting even more confused with all these new informations. One of the least beneficial heritage we will have after this pandemic will be our hardly damaged psychology, which obviously will take some time to recover and honestly I wasn't expecting this turnover but lately when I see the messages reaching to me on social media I understood it is becoming unfortunately a serious problem of our mental health. These days however we are also trying to stop another habit of ours touching our face. Do you know that on average, we are touching our face almost 23 times per hour. The average person touches their face two or three thousand times a day. I'm sure now you are having the same thoughts as me the first time when I found it. Two or three thousand times a day. Touching our face is an unconscious behavior of our body and mostly involuntary done and we cannot expect it can be stopped just like this. As an example, imagine yourself in front of the public with cameras streaming you worldwide and you want to give one message to everybody. Do not touch your face. But after just some time, you touch your face in front of all these millions of people on TVs. Maybe you are telling, come on, I can't not be like that. I can hold myself without touching my face at least 30 minutes or more. Don't be so sure. You will not succeed. Moreover, if you do not have experience of talking to a public, it will basically take just a few seconds to touch your face. If you don't believe me, check this out. Start working on not touching your face because one main way viruses spread is when you touch your own mouth, nose or eyes. And of course, enhance cleaning of surfaces. Well, we're always saying the common sense of washing your hands, not touching your face. We're looking at every way individuals come into the country, not just through the... Right. Through but one of the key parts to preventing transmission is washing your hands and not touching your face. You know, there's a, there's a lot of folks that are trying to ask themselves, do I need a mask? I think these are very important things. Working hard, not to touch your face. That everyone would have to fill out that would go directly to CDC with that information. Uh, I've been looking around the room here. I can't tell you the number of you who've put your hands to your face in the last uh, 20 minutes or half an hour. I want to know how many of them are from... Uh, Hear some of the things about washing your hands and not taking, touching your mouth and your, your nose and your eyes. Can you tell me why it took five days to test the patient in Manitoba? The value of hand washing and using sanitizing gels to, if you get the virus on your hands, eliminate it before it finds a way. Don't touch your face. I, my, my kids are so sick and tired of me saying if they scratch their face, don't. In order to understand why we cannot stop it, first we need to understand why are we touching our face in the first place. Touching our face is not only about a simple action, scratching it when it's itchy. It's mostly about your own emotional expression and communication. In that video we just watched, they were communicating to the world and it's simply impossible to do so without non-verbal tool of communication. Touching the face has a much older history than verbal communication in our life. This starts when we are fetus in uterus and continues in the infancy time. When we are infants, our most important sense is touching more than seeing in order to communicate. In time, this communication skills improves in its normal development path. Subliminally, we use this strategy in different contexts in order to express ourselves more professionally. While you are thinking about something and trying to reach a decision, 
you said something and you realize you shouldn't do so. Kids cover their eyes when they don't want to look at someone or something. As we are getting older, the reaction is not changing, but we are just getting skilled at it. When we don't want to face with someone, or we try to escape a question, our appearance turns just like this. Let me make you more curious. A study made by researchers in Chicago shows that after lying on a certain part of the face, blood circulation increases and makes us feel itching sensations. Following that, we touch our face to scratch it. That means not all the itches are so innocent. They are an expression of our emotions too. Don't worry, if you are touching yourself too much these days, and moreover, don't feel guilty about it. We will either way touch our face when we are shocked, when we are surprised, or when we are upset. Since we used to do this exact same thing for many years now. Telling people to do something that happens unconsciously will never solve the problem. It's much easier to have people washing their hands more often than to expect them to manage in touching their face less. We are less likely to achieve great results in we just say do not do an unconscious thing to ourselves. So don't be stressed and don't blame yourself too much. Try to be healthy physically, but also please protect your psychology these days.